when the sun comes up, start running. There are some other things we need to think about that might stop. Identity might stop us. Who are you? How do I know who you are? Is this secure? These are things that Tim mentioned. Um, it has a reputation for gaming. It has some adult content, which I've censored for you. Um, now, some of these things may go away, but there is a thing in the public's mind called perception lag. You change something today, and I'll stop thinking about it in two years. And there's a big choice. Logos, 57. Now, what we thought is, right, if we're th thinking about practical applications of web, of 3D web, what we'll do is we'll take away the children's and we'll take away the ones for teenagers, and we'll take away the ones which kind of we don't think will work, and we'll and we'll stick with the market leaders. Now, you may disagree with our opinion, and, and we'd love to talk to you about that in the next two days. But that's currently our opinion. These are the market leaders, and we know some's a bit off yet, but it will get there. But there are no standards. Um, uh, there is no interoperability. So there are some problems. So looking at the future, I said there's a problem with, uh, we, we live in an exponential world and we think in a linear fashion. What does that mean? What that means is we will overestimate what's going to happen in the next two years and we will underestimate what's going to happen in the next ten. So when Western Union were asked if they wanted to take this invention called the telephone, they said, why would anybody want to hear anyone talk? And Spencer Jones, the Astronomer Royal of the UK, said two weeks before this, space travel is booked. Bill Gates said, who wants more than 640k of memory? And we have no interest whatsoever in the internet. Because if everybody got it right, We'd be living like this, and, and we'd be flying like this. Now, Tim, last week on Facebook, posted a video of someone with a jetpack. But I wouldn't use it, Tim, I'm sorry. Um, and, uh, and we'd have flying cars, and we'd have giant robots controlling our world. Okay. Maybe we have. So, in the near future... There will be enterprise versions of 3D web, which will be behind the firewall, they will be secure, and we'll know who we're talking to. And we'll connect in different ways. So, this is, we use this at work now, it's, which is a, a device which helps you in the 3D world. Um, we probably won't be wearing wearable PCs, because we just look like idiots. Um, but, we might be using devices like the, the Wii which is being used in America to train surgeons to improve their dexterity. We'll be using some, sorry about this Tim, we'll be using some kind of touch <laughs> device, which may or may not be mobile, mobile. Um, and we, we will resolve the problem of non-verbal communication. If, if when we talk to someone face to face, 30% is what we say, and 70% is non-verbal, and that is a problem. If you're giving a training course, if you're having a meeting, how do you know what people are thinking? Um, well, you could use these, uh, and th this is a great slide, by the way. You need to look at some of these. Uh, some of these are <laughs> fantastic. Um, and, and in summer this year, for three hundred dollars, you can get this device, which you won't, by the way, because you look like an idiot. But it will feed uh, information about your emotions and your uh, your expression to a device. They can, they've had this control in their wheelchair, for example. You think where you're going to go, and you go there. Um, we did an experiment on Monday, and we said, I wonder if we could, from our second life office, look through to our first life office, and we did, um, which is another kind of breakthrough. Um, the world of gaming is going to do some interesting things with us, because in April this year, a paper was put out on a stress camp, which can film you and, and transmit your emotions through, in this case, to a game, but it could be to a meeting. Slightly makes me slightly nervous, actually. Yeah. The experience will get better. Um, so, uh, movement 
Um, ninja physics, for example, is getting things better. Face gen is getting a better representation of, of avatars, although we will always be taller, thinner, younger, and better looking. <laughs> And this is an example of FaceGen being used today for an online game application. And something will happen with Brazil, Russia, India, China, and places away from Europe and America. Korea is very advanced in 3D. China has the biggest number of mobile phones in the world. It has the biggest number of internet users in the world. India, number two. And we forget these at our peril. So something's going to happen there. I don't know what. Um, and there comes a point when something becomes unstoppable. The momentum becomes unstoppable. The tsunami happens. The problem is we don't know when it is. Because we don't do exponential. Uh, there will be some killer apps. When I was thinking about killer apps, I thought, this is a bit ironic, really, because one of the killer apps is actually the military. Um, to train a soldier to be situationally aware and give him or her the ability to pick and choose the most important details around them, Intelligence Gaming created a 360-degree audio-video recording approach that would let trainees see and hear all around them. So that's today. That's today, by the way. Uh, biggest user of 3D web the American Army. Um, online dating, I'm afraid. <laughs> Um, uh, pornography, I'm afraid. Um, Mirror Worlds, this is Berlin, um, I think will be, is a killer app. Why do I think it's a killer app? It would have been really good if before I came here uh, I could have gone to virtual Amsterdam and found out that at 8 o'clock in the morning you can't get a coffee around here. Um, so I, I do think Mirror Worlds is a killer app. Um, gambling is a killer app. Um, five to ten years I'm now going to be underestimating what's going to happen. The old internet used to have porn on it. Does internet do have porn on it too? Subscribe to one of thousands of premium adult packages. Come and escape from reality with internet do. Choose from a whopping variety of totally immersive virtual reality fun packages. When you've got internet do, Everything else just seems boring. Uh, that's a spoof advert, by the way, for internet. Do. Um, there will be 3D TV. There will be something like Minority Report, virtual screens, touch screens. Uh, you will be able to. There will be fourth generation languages, which are domain specific, which means you can put a picture of a Barcelona chair into your machine and say, "Could you build me one of those in 3D?" Can I have it in grey? Uh, Bill Gates said in the road, he, could, he, did, he did get some things right, um, that virtual reality is going to happen, and one of the killer apps of virtual reality is the army. Uh, another one is pornography. Uh, there will be mashups, so there will be multiple technologies pulled together. There will be 2D, 3D, social, and you'll be able to big back dog one, diff, or whatever names people will come up with in the future. Uh, we will tag Twitter, duck and dive. So what should you do? Persevere. Uh, build a pilot. Proof of concept. Train, train, train. University of Delaware had their lecturers create a campus uh, in Second Life. They trained them for 20 hours each. They said they should have trained them for 40. And these are lecturers, right? We don't train people enough. Uh, keep an eye on what's happening and come here next year. And remember, when the sun comes up, think outside the box. I'll leave you with the Chinese curse, which is may live in interesting times, which I've always thought was really bizarre. Uh, because I think there is a Chinese curse, and this is it. May live in boring terms. <laughs> um, final bits. This is my house. It's in North Yorkshire, which is there. This is my wife. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.